I think he had too much plugged in. Oh dear. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtain. The sun seemed brighter than I remember. Wow, look outside, it's beautiful. He's been inside for so long that he forgot how beautiful it was outside. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk. He is outside. It had been a while. Oh, and he's enjoying the, the scenery. What's he doing? The sun's in his eyes. He's like, oh, the sun's right in my eyes. Because he's not seen the sun for a while. He's been sat on the sofa all this time. Everything was so vivid. Like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen. <coughs> but more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realised that it was the air. I heard a noise. Some chirps. A ringtone, perhaps. But no. I looked up to see... Some birds, Evelyn. Uh, uh, oh dear! Uh, you want to see the book too? You want to see the book too? I wandered down the street from block to block and crossed the neighbourhood. Look, we've been on a bridge like that. What was the bridge that we went on called? Can you remember? The Golden Gate Bridge. That's it. Eventually, I found a park. Or the hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, but even close. Not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying being outside. Any worries about the power outage and that I might have I might be missing, oh, come on, Evelyn's very funny. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favourite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset and those colours, my goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward options, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. Oh, beautiful. We get lovely sunsets out here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch. I hit the button to brush my teeth. Look, he's got a machine that brushes his teeth for him. I pulled the lever to change into my pyjamas. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud, that says. Then I noticed my reflection in the screen. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often maybe every day even and so that's what I've done I've started hanging out with my friends my best buddies outside we started biking very good and hiking and swimming you like all of those don't you mm -hmm. which is your favorite out of those you like going on your bike the most yeah that one. Oh, and hiking you like hiking too yeah, that oh, and swimming, very good. On a floaty. <laughs> and hiding, we do that often as well. And sneaking, and sneaking, and sneaking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. That looks fun, doesn't it? Potato chips. No. Why are they eating them? Popcorn. Popcorn. And what are they drinking? Apple juice. Yummy. What's that? It's a board game. They're playing a board game. Why? Because they're hanging out. They're having fun. Ah. It makes me wonder 
What if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadget and the world outside? Who's because that? It, because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. He's in a bath. He's got the dog in a bath. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. He is a kind potato. Look, he's giving his dog a bath. That's a that's a potato too. <laughs> is it a potato dog? Yeah. There he is. Look. I'm an entertaining potato and I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Oh, that looks lovely. I'd like to be in one of those boats. We've been boating, haven't we? Or what do we do? We're paddle boarding. Woo! Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be a part of it in person. He might fall in. He's got to be careful. He needs a life jacket, really, doesn't he? Yeah. Although he might be a good swimmer. And we saw a picture of him before swimming. Yes. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. <laughs>